Goodbye, Mumbo's World. I'm never... Or... <laughs> Mumbo's Bye, Mumbo. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mumbo's, Mumbo's World. world. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh, man. I, when I was a kid, I would used to watch, like, Elmo's World all the time. Oh, there's Elmo freaking rocks. On VHS tapes. Because, like, Elmo's awesome. Yeah, and Elmo's know where, Elmo knows where I live. Yes, he does. He can Elmo. Okay, look. Oh, look at this hill that I could easily walk up to. Oh, no, it's slippery. So, I'm gonna have to use this ability that I learned from a previous world just to get around. Wow! Look at that, Tanner! Okay, so. Wow! With the, the jiggies, you notice how like I had to put that one piece in that portrait just yeah. to access the level? Uh-huh. So with the musical notes, uh huh. Uh, there are these doors here, and I need a certain uh, number of them. Uh, what do you want, Bottles? Ah, uh, shut up, Bottles. He's trying to tell us what we need. That's ridiculous, okay. freaking Bottles. Okay. Right. So, so, up, Jim, guys. Something, something, uh, it's like, you've got, uh, uh, Kazooie's just like racist against moles. So dirty moles with their webbed hands and their gross Oh, well, he did restore my health. Well, uh, that was nice of him. Oh, look at that. So, so I will so say, if, uh... You want to have any hope of like beating the final boss? Uh huh. I would recommend like collecting every jiggy and musical note that you can find. Okay. So that's just uh, my two cents here. Okay. Woo! Let's see, uh, to remove pieces that you have already put down, move uh, the right stick down. But once the picture is complete. Uh, uh, the thing is stuck there, I'm like, crying. Shut up, you dirty mole. She's just like super angry against moles. It's like, Kazooie, why don't you like moles? Because they can dig underground and get all the worms. Because they dig underground, eat all the oh. worms. Yeah, this is, uh, Gruntilda's... Or no, uh, Gruntilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. Huh. So, uh, here's the thing, like, she tells you, like, three random facts about Gruntilda. Uh-huh. Um, I'm just gonna say, they seem random. Uh-huh. Like, y you know, you would think, why would I even need to know this? But, uh, once you get to a certain point in the game, uh -huh. you're gonna want to know how to, or you're gonna want to remember this. Okay. So, like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it. I Baked I beans! Uh, and she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's Boutique. Okay, whatever. Hey, Saggy Maggie's is great prices, guys. Video one officially brought to you by Saggy Maggie's. All right, just kidding. I don't know. All right. Well, oh, yeah, there's that know. cauldron that she was kicking the crap out of. Oh, uh, no, it's a different one. Oh, no, oh. So this acts as uh, fast travel oh, gosh, throughout uh, Gruntilda's lair. I love fast travel. Yeah, who doesn't? Oh, not this guy. This guy likes it. Okay. Uh, just picking a more random babies. Ooh, got a mumbo token. Great. Definitely gonna need to pick up a lot of those. Because, um... You, you don't see mumbo a lot throughout the entire game, but you will want to collect as many tokens as you can. Okay. Well, I mean, it makes sense. So, I think, I feel like... I feel like older, like, Nintendo 64 games... The collectibles mean more than like a lot of collectibles in like more modern games. Yeah. Like, um <sighs> Could you think of an example? Because I can't. Well we were we were playing a game fairly recently where it's like the the uh the collectibles don't mean jack. Um was it Disney Infinity? Me nah, I, I I thought that too, but then I can't remember what the uh collectibles were. Um, what, what was a collectathon game we were playing recently? Uh, no, Celeste, not Skyward Sword. Right, because Celeste, yeah, it, it makes a difference. Like for the end. By the way, go watch our Celeste videos. Over, Please like, watch it. Hardly anyone has watched it. Go watch. Go watch Celeste. It's like some hardcore platforming. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I mean, just like Chapter A side, but uh, we are happy to continue with. Uh, the Chapter 8 A-side, as well as uh, the B-side, C-sides, and the Chapter 9 DLC. 
the chapter nine B- DLC yep. is like a as, beast. As long as as long as you guys want it, send some love their way. But uh, um, uh, let's see. nothing here at the moment. Oh wait, Ooh, is there? Actually, hang on. I'm actually well, gonna explore the corners in case if there's any. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a mumbo skull. Ika boka. Wait, wait, wait. There's a place over there on the left. What? Look. Right there. Oh, oh yeah. it's uh, Gr- Grumhilda, whatever her name is, or? Oh. Grumhilda's um, sister's over Let's there. talk to her later. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna move on. Talk more about how she washes her hair with baked beans. Cool beans! Have you seen, uh, cool beans? That's a uh, hot rod, isn't it? Yep. Cool beans. Or wait, beans. is it? No, cool it's hot rod. Beans. I was yeah. thinking of hot fuzz for a split second. I love there. hot fuzz. Ooh. What is your birthday? <laughs> Get out. It's like... <laughs> It's like wait, uh, let's see. What's when's your, your uh, what, what's your what's your birthday? It, this year. What year? Or, Every yeah. year. It's, it's like December fifth. What year? Every year. Get out. Oh. Hey, babe. How you guys doing? Oh, good. Everyone. You only missed uh, the first level. All right, sweet. Yeah. We're gonna. We're trying to try and send some love to Celeste's way, but we're trying to remember. We, we were playing a game where like the collectibles didn't mean anything. Is that Wario World? Which, was that oh, Wario uh, World? It, it must have been Wario yeah, World. Yeah. Wario World. Yeah. Because, like, uh, there are some collectibles that had something to do with um, this WarioWare game for the GameCube? Yes, that's what it was. Uh, there's just, like, a bunch of treasure chests, like, everywhere. Right. And you would have yeah, to... Yeah, you would have to uh, 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 ramp pound or just hit these switches. Yeah, yeah. It was just like, well, it doesn't make any difference for this game. But, but yeah, at least at least this game, like like the collectibles mean okay. something. You know, unfortunately, like some games, it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go collect everything. Go, 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 He's coming on land. Oh my goodness, at your beach now. Oh, he went away. Yes. Oh, could you imagine if like sharks can like. Survive on land. Yeah, we would be royally screwed. Oh yeah, I think so. Like, uh, so you know, it's kind of crazy. So orcas can live on land, obviously. You know, they're well, they can live quotation marks or whatever. But like they, uh, like they'll obviously dry out and everything because they. Uh, I mean, they belong in the sea. But, but anywho, so like they'll like beach themselves just to eat a seal. So, yeah. Well, like, they'll just come to uh, the oh, shore. Onto the shore just to eat a seal. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, as delicious as a seal might be, I would not risk my life for it. I'm gonna talk to this guy just so this Honestly, machine... Honestly, I thought he was a burger at first. thought he was, like, like some kind of hamburger. I thought he was a burger. Uh, he's a bucket with a hole, and uh, I gotta patch that hole with eggs. <laughs> You're pooping eggs on him. Leaky patched up, no it's like, water for them. <laughs> oh. oh, wow, look at that. Ooh. And this is game night, correct? Yes. Yeah. So keep it game night friendly. Yes. And yeah, you got it. So, wait, like, what I just saw was, like, some uh, Indiana Jones and Last Crusade, like, spelling stuff on the floor type thing. Yes. You spell banjo or something? That is, exa- that is exactly what I have to do, because you got, like, the uh, name up here on the wall. And then uh, you got this tougher enemy over here. Uh, so, oh, hang on. I'm going to collect some musical notes. May as well. Uh, which, by the way, Peyton, just to catch up to speed, so uh, jiggies, or like puzzle pieces, uh, lets you open up a world. Mm-hmm. And then the musical notes lets you open through uh, doors mm-hmm. just to proceed in uh, Rintilda's No, marriage. no, you missed what? What? Ah, uh, okay. You missed it. It's N. Oh, it's N. Oh. Yeah, in the middle, kind of. You, you see, this is what happens when I try to think and talk no, and play the game G. at the same time. It's a very crisp banana. Like I bend to it, it's like. Banjo. Like K. 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 Is there a second A? Oh. A. Z. I believe you, Tanner. Z. Oh. Who's in the house? Hi. E. Yeah, I was like, ah! Okay, hold on. There we go. 
Ew, gross, it's a crab. And it's a nasty one, too. I would eat that crab a lot. Mm. Okay, kill it, kill it! Ah, that's why you stab his beak like right down into it. He's like, yeah! Overkill's underrated, I guess, at that point. He's just like... <laughs> Alright, well, I'm out of here. Jump in the air, do a flip, and stab your friend's face into it. Like, that's how that's how uh, Banjo's doing things now. Like, so Banjo's like the bear? Mm -hmm. Yes, Banjo's a bear, Kazooie's a bird, and then you got like these crabs that'll just meet death. <laughs> he was like cram freaky Kazooie right into it. Uh, if you think that black crab was uh, scary... Uh. You Look got at this guy! Yeah. I ate oh, wow. my grandma. I ate my grandma. Hey, hey! hey he's what's that little guy doing? What the freak? Why is he, why is he following you? Oh, he's camping Hey, there. what do you want? What do you want? Hey! Oh my gosh, I've been playing like more of a uh, online Smash. Uh -huh. Smash Ultimate. How's it going? Uh, Making progress, but... Um, man, I just, I just hate people online sometimes. Oh yeah, just trolling? Uh, some trolling, some... Like, like uh, uh, rage quitting. Okay, yeah, that's one of them. So, like, let's say, yeah, I mean, let's say I'm winning. Uh -huh. Let's say I'm winning, and then they rage quit before the match ends, and then like, uh, the game say lags for like a solid minute, uh -huh. and then the game plays seamlessly, and then when the match ends, like neither of us uh, gains or loses GSP. That's crap. Um, and then there are some levels where. That are, uh, ow. Uh, that just auto scroll. And, uh -huh. uh, people just try to, like, uh, lure you to that side of the screen and just throw you without having to deal a lot of damage to you oh, to start with. Oh, I got you. Um, and then there are some people who just, with certain characters, they just, like, uh, use, uh, certain special moves just, just to cheap shot you or something. Really? Like, they just have, like, a certain strategy just to. Just to get me out of the game. And it's like, and I know it's cheap because it's annoying. It's yeah. like, come on, come at me, bro. It's like, play the game. It, it's called Super Smash Brothers, not Super Sniper Brothers. Well, yeah. Unless you're edge guarding. Well, but. it's kind of like, it's kind of, well, I mean, in just about any online game, you know, like that's like the uh, Super Smash Brothers equivalent of camping. That's true. Like, pretty like much. You have campers in Call of Duty, like, all the time. Drives me nuts. Actually, I don't mind campers because if you if if you can identify Ooh, that they are just, in that location, if we ever decide to do a few episodes of me just trying to get into Smash Ultimate Elite, uh, well, Elite Smash, uh huh, um, you you'll probably see some people. Oh, and also I should mention, um, you can have like preferred rule sets all the way or. Uh, preferably just to close the window so we don't hear any noise from the outside. Well, Grace, you told me to open them. Okay, uh, in that case, just crack. Uh, keep them cracked. Just a quack. <laughs> just a quack. Just a quack. Um, so there, you can have, like, preferred rule sets where you can just play, like, uh, multiplayer smash, like, you know, if you're playing with, like, three or four people uh -huh. online. Yeah. Or you can do team battle, or you can just do one-on-one. -on -one. I prefer to do one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Stock. Two or three lives, okay. uh, items off. But uh, sometimes, like, it'll have the items on, and the the bull crap just happens. Oh yeah. Like, like sometimes it's for my benefit, and sometimes it's for my opponent's benefit. So uh -huh. it, it just it, it's all just gamble. That sucks. But uh, I'm getting close. So like, uh, every character that I've played as uh -huh. has like. At least seven million GSP. Nice. Um, how I got into Elite Smash was with uh, Kazuya reaching at like uh, nine point two million uh -huh. something. So like I'm slow. I think I've already mentioned this before on another episode, but I have uh, I'm doing like a goal slash strategy where like say like. Um, like let's say all of my char all the characters I've played as, all their GSP is like all over the place, and like mm -hmm. let's say okay, so I'm getting everyone up to uh, four million. Okay. Uh, next round is gonna be well. By next round, I mean like after playing as every character. Uh -huh. Once every character has like four million GSP, then I 
play as everyone again, but try to get up to five million, then six million, then seven million. You. you know. I got you. All right, and we're back. Sorry for the short little interruption. Hey. Uh, Is that I have an interruption? No. No, it's just it's just gonna be cutting for me in post production when I edit this. Well, it was so like when post. people see like, hey, like what's with the 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 dip to white? Like what's going on there? Well, my little sister just well, wanted to talk to me too. We'll, we'll blame it on COVID. To open the windows. <laughs> we'll be like, yeah, we all just got COVID like right off the bat, just like that. Oh goodness. It's over just like that. Yep. It's like the fastest, it's like you get COVID, you cough like half of them coughs are coughing. <laughs> like you don't, and you don't uh, have any problems at all after that. Like, oh. like you don't, it's not even real COVID, it's like fast COVID. Fast COVID? <laughs> yeah, and that's all you have. You just have like a hot flash like that too. You just got like a fever, it's like, oh, and then you're done. <laughs> then you're done with COVID. Oh goodness! Oh man, I wish we could all just be done with COVID. Well, if we if we say that on here, that's like not like real information. We're gonna get one of those like CDC things or whatever on our channel. <laughs> <laughs> gotta watch out for gotta watch out for the runner. It's out there. The Delta one's coming. Oh, have you guys seen that meme with the uh, uh, like? Let's see. Was it like Delta Airlines tweet? It's like one of those memes, like Delta Airlines tweet, like, oh, why are they calling the new one the Delta variant? This is bad for business. And then, then there's like a reply to the tweet or whatever, and it's like Corona beer, and it's like, welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, there you go. Oh my gosh, it's got teeth. I thought it was gonna be some type of shot towards like United or like a really bad airline. Oh. Is it called the Delta variant? It was called the United one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got it. Okay, you got it. I was. I just thought for a second you were being eaten. Okay. And there's a mumbo token over here. Mumbo. And I'm gonna have to swim for my life because there. Oh, okay. Yep. There's a shark. Ah, oh, what a freaking. Tana, there's a shark. And he only just took a nibble of me. It's like a nibble. I guess I'm only a snack, and not a meal. I'm kind of offended by that. I am a snack. Oh, oh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, yep, I am definitely a snack. These clams definitely. are eating my ammo. Ezra, are you in that group chat that Bonnie sent that picture of me at the farm? Yeah, yeah, where, where you like had to have your duct tape, your, your pants duct tape or yeah. something like that? You see Evan's picture, and it's like, like resistance is futile or something like that. I, I thought so. that was- Wait, wait, yeah, that- have your uh, pants? Yeah, so uh, I wore covered with duct tape. Yeah, I wore these jeans, and they have holes in them. The grandpa. Oh, at I, the knees, by the way. Yeah, at the knees, <laughs> at the knees. And then I walk back in the office. Grandpa's like, "Come here, you can't wear those pants. You have extra." I'm like, "No." He comes, goes in his office and just does this with a duct tape mouth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you shouldn't wear broken pants, should you? Nope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Freak, yeah, that was. I got a kick out of that. Oh, there you go, oh, goodness. There we go. Oh, this way. Boop. Grab these. Music of notes. You can. <laughs> there you go. I can't see without them. So, is this the only Banjo and Kazooie game, or is there a couple more? Uh, there, there's a couple more. Banjo and Kazooie. Is this the first one? Uh, this is the first one, but uh, of course, I'm playing this on the Xbox One. Yeah. The, the very first one. Obviously, it was on the N64. Uh, then you got Banjo Tooie, and I think there's a Game Boy Advance game for yeah, the Banjo. Yeah, I can't remember what it was called. Let's see. Let's see. Kazooie. And then uh, you got Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which is the worst Banjo Kazooie game. Really? Yeah. That's what came out in 2008. Dang. I think so. It just showed up right here. Ban Banjo Pilot is the one for the Game Boy Advance, and then Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. Yeah, Grunty's Revenge. Yeah, yeah. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Grunty's Revenge, Banjo Banjo Pilot. So what's well, okay? So what's so wrong with uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolt Nuts and Bolts? Uh, one, I think it's like the aesthetic. Well, wow, did Banjo get fat? He actually did get fat, and then uh, after the intro of that game, then like. Uh, this mystical character that shows up, like, makes 
uh, Banjo Kazooie and Gruntilda like good looking again. So, oh, there was a token up there. Um, um but I, but I think it's like uh, you actually have to uh, build a car, uh -huh. and uh, you have to like fulfill certain tasks, mm -hmm. which was. This game looks ridiculous. Oh, you're watching like gameplay of it now. Well, I'm just seeing, just looking at like uh, pictures of it, and it looks terrible. There's there's banjo banjo uh, three, but it's like a screen. Oh, three. Uh, C H R E E I E, but it's a picture of the Doom guy holding Kazooie, <laughs> like as a weapon. Are those games? Are the Doom games good? Yeah. I've, I've never played Doom. They're okay. I I know Zeke has. But. Yeah, I, I heard Doom, Doom Eternal's pretty fun, but I uh, played the older ones because they're on uh, what's it called? They're on Game Pass. Oh, they are. Okay, sweet. Yeah. I'm actually. I'm yeah, actually give, give them a try. They're kind of weird. Like you can't aim up. What? So you can't aim and look up? Right. Like at least on the first one, the first one, because the first one and the second one, you're playing, and this is like you're moving your way through the level. All you can do is go like this, is move oh, side okay. to side and forward, right? It's kind of weird. I, I don't know how I, I didn't enjoy it, but then again, it was on the Xbox, and I think it was made for PC or whatever. Oh, true. So, but uh, Doom Eternal is pretty sick. Uh, Jacob played it, and he really liked it. Oh, there's stuff in there. Yeah. I definitely want the music to Oh, oh, ah. Got bumped off. Ah! Oh, right into the bottom of the teeth. Come on. There you go. Got her. Well, you should go see a dentist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually, uh, uh, got an implant in my mouth just the other day. Wait, 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 what do you mean? Like a tooth implant? Uh... Like a new one? Yeah. It, like they it, drilled it down into your jaw? Uh, so, so like, I still have, like, this gap right yeah. here. Uh-huh. So, like, uh, there was a bone graft, uh, since last February, and then they added, like, a new, uh, implant just, like, a couple days ago. This uh -huh. is, like, second phase of it. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, I, uh, go back in in December for... Uh, my surgeon, mm -hmm. uh, same guy who did my jaw surgery, just to have a look at it. And if it looks as good, then uh, we'll like plan on like a uh, uh, for me to see a dentist just to put like a crown on. Okay, I got you. Know? you. All right, so I'm gonna fly around the place now. Yeah, well, I mean, you got 50 freaking feathers. So you're doing okay. Yeah, so it costs one every time I, like, go up. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's see if I can pick up this Jinjo without touching the ground. Nope. Oh, no! I'm gonna come back around for it, though. Nice. Yeah, they're kind of trying to calculate your spatial, like, like spatial awareness is kind of hard. Like, or as you're, for my teeth? Well, no, no, just as you're, as you're, you're flying there. It's oh, kinda, uh, yeah. Like, you have, like, almost no shadowing. You've got, like... It's also kind of weird, because, like, it takes a minute for me to, um, actually, like, dive down. Mm -hmm. If I want to, like... So, like, if I do this... Like, I'm going forward uh -huh. a little bit, but then, like, I start to go down, mm -hmm. and then once I raise back up... I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's all kinds of funky. I'm gonna... Hang on. It's all this. kinds of funky. Oh, wait, that's not a... That's Ooh, a statue. I don't think I've been there. Uh, I'm gonna grab this really quick. Oh, wait, no. That's a honeycomb I was thinking of earlier. Okay. So, I'm gonna try to grab that right, without touching the water. Alright, let's see this. Gonna have to loop around. Okay. Oh, that's a border. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, all right, cool. Just like that. Oh, look, there's a crystal skull at the base of that. And then it's like, oh no! Where do I go? It's just down there. Oh, nice. So if you don't know how to use your camera in this game, uh, you're pretty that's much screwed. And then you gotta. 
Please open kill me gently that, as you like kill that it. sentient treasure chest. You just like like banjos there, just like ripping it open. Whatever sound like a bear makes. Um, I'm just kidding. Okay, so what's the nearest flying pad? Probably back over here. I think so. I don't think I've checked that one cave uh, oh. island place. So, yo, I, uh... Oh, wait, I, no, no, no. Oh, wait, no, there's, there's one... I, uh, drove into Tesla last night. You drove a Tesla? Yeah. Drove in one. It was freaking sick. Like, uh, a dude, dude that I worked with, he, uh, he, he was a nurse, but he just got his nurse practitioner. And so he, uh, um, uh, he came by. I work, I work with his mom. His mom works at the hospital with me. And so uh, she told me earlier. She said, "Yeah, you know, he got a he got a Tesla." I was like, "No, it, did he?" And like, so she was like, "Yeah, he's gonna come visit." I was like, "Sweet." So I thought he was just gonna let me see it, and then Ooh. he's like, uh, "He's like, get in. I'll take you for a ride." I was like, oh, "All right." So it was, we just they like, drove up up and down Center Street in Provo for a second, but um, he uh, um. Let's see. Ooh, time for some platforming so, skills, yeah. boy. He took, took me for a ride. He hit the gas, okay? Pushed me into the back of my seat. Crazy <laughs> amount of acceleration. Yeah, it's it's like, it's it's like, like, that. Oh, oh my goodness. It gas, so if there's like any in a Tesla. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah. oh, no. Okay, hold on. I got this. Yeah, it was so sick. So, like, that was a, that was a pretty cool experience last night. And he brought us pizza. He's a bro. Of course, he brought you pizza. He's a Tesla. He can afford it. Well, well, see, he hasn't started his uh, nurse practitioner job yet. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, he uh, he just he graduated from school uh, back in April, I think. And so, like, all of his licensure is just barely going through. Mm -hmm. And so he starts like next month or something like that. But he uh, like uh, he got it used. He he sold it. He's had oh. a truck for like twelve years. You get a new ability or something? Uh, okay, this is gonna be another topic for later. Uh, okay, I thought, I was expecting, uh, uh, an extra honeycomb. Yeah. Uh, alright, well I think that dialogue just now is like for, uh, just this version of the okay, game. Okay, I gotcha. But, uh, so there's something... Uh, sorry, did you want to continue your Tesla? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he he, uh, he he starts his new job like next month, but he uh, he just uh, he bought a Tesla because he's going to be commu commuting. He had to use. I mean, it's not not like a brand new one, but it's still pretty sick. Like, and uh, it still you know goes really freaking fast. Yeah. So it was awesome. It was really cool. Like I said, and then he, and he brought pizza too. So what a bro. You think, so are you, would you think that it would be worth it for you to buy one or not yet? Oh, eventually I'm going to. Mm -hmm. I, I plan on buying, well, I plan on buying an electric vehicle anyway you slice it. I, uh, I think that eventually they, um, they are going to replace gas. Not, maybe not replace, but there will be an equal ratio of electric and gas vehicles I, on the road. Yeah, I like that. I well, like that thought instead of just saying just obliterate gas completely. Yeah, you, you, you just can't. Yeah, you, like, you, like, you physically can't. There's so many, but with uh, Ford coming out with their uh, electric um, the, the electric the electric F-150 is really freaking awesome. Like F-150 light, it's so cool. Like, oh yeah, it's the, awesome. Oh yeah, if I had the money, I'd buy one. Mm -hmm. But that's the yeah. That's the one that I plan on uh, plan on buying at the earliest opportunity. Not the Tesla truck? Nah, uh, I, I like the Tesla truck, but I just, I, I do too, and everybody thinks I'm crazy because it looks ugly, it looks kind of ugly. Who but cares, it's a truck. It's, it's a freaking electric vehicle, it's a tank, it has yeah. bulletproof windows. Now, did the did the window <laughs> crack during the presentation? Yeah, but guess what? That bullet didn't, a bullet wouldn't go through it. No, I thought that was funny. Like, all right, these are unbreakable. Brings it with a rock. Yep. But to, like, uh, I, was, I was watching, uh, uh, his most recent podcast with uh, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan was giving him crap for it. <laughs> he was like, he was like, so you know those unbreakable windows, <laughs> right? <laughs> and he's like, honestly, I was as surprised as anybody. <laughs> like, because they, uh, like, they've been testing it with that ball all morning before oh, the presentation. Okay. They've been throwing it. Oh yeah, it's great. Look at it. It doesn't break. 
So they, what he was thinking is that it got micro cracks in it, uh, like during that. Because I mean, like all bulletproof windows, there's, they, a, there's a certain spot. Yeah, well, like, and if you, and if you hit it enough times, it all of a sudden stops being bulletproof. Yeah, that's true. Right, and so like with enough damage, well, anything bulletproof with enough damage stops being bulletproof. Yeah. That's how that's how it goes. I mean, bulletproof vests—they're designed like they have like very tightly woven fibers, but if those fibers get shot a whole bunch of times and they separate enough, yeah, you're gonna squeeze a bullet past there. But uh, I think that I think it's they're really cool. What's what's the price for cyber trucks? Uh, they're not even released yet. Yeah, I. Oh, so uh, a guy that I work with, his nephew does uh, solar sales, and he's already put it. He's already paid for the cyber truck. He paid to get like, like pre-ordered it. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. My friend, my friend, his dad already pre-ordered one. I don't know, like, like, dude. So kids, ah! kids in my generation, they did do those like summer sales things, like with the solar panels and stuff. Do people in your generation do that, Peyton? Um. Uh, my girlfriend, her cousin's, her cousin's Ooh. husband Ooh. is doing that right You're, now. Yeah, so pretty good. Yeah, he's doing all right. He's doing it down in Texas. Ooh, nice move. Yeah, so it like people of my like a little bit of my generation because uh -huh. that's like four, a little like like three four years off of me, uh -huh. but still that's still about my generation. Yeah, well, I was just wondering because like like I said like my generation like there was a huge push like tons of guys that I went to high school with. Like went to the oil fields, mm -hmm. right? Like they went, they went to like uh, North Dakota. Yeah, my dad's generation is construction. Like oh yeah, big time construction. Yeah, and so like like there's like those jobs or whatever people do, and summer sales. Like summer sales kind of started as uh, uh, as I got older, but you know, like I've I've considered doing that because I mean those dudes those dudes bring in like no joke like sixty seventy thousand a freaking summer yeah because it's like it's off your commission on how much you sell yeah uh -huh. so. like i'm confident in my sales ability but dang like it's a lot of freaking money yeah people did summer sales with us with t-mobile and we bought an internet router from them but it turned out to be crap yeah so yeah i uh i don't know i'm like phone solicitors, I'll keep them on the phone for as long as I can. <laughs> but door to door salesmen, I'll tell them if I'm not interested right off the bat. Like, and I'll and I'll tell them like, look, this is a this is a, a uh, professional courtesy. One salesman to another, I'm not going to waste your time. Like that's, that's what I'll, true. That's what I'll tell them. Like, and I'll be straight up with them. Like, look, man, I'm not going to buy this. I don't like dish. I don't have solar panels. I uh, like. Uh, what, what else do they sell? I don't have bug problems. Uh, like, like all that. It's like, hey, so I'm not going to waste your time. Try my neighbors, though. Like, That's true. But the like, only reason we did it is because we needed a new internet. We oh, yeah. Internet. We needed some more interwebs. Yeah. Uh, we got, uh, what's it? We got bro uh, Beehive Broadband now. Is it pretty good? Dude, it's fiber, man. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so I need to update our routers, like, like get new ones. But, like, I'm not just going to throw out the old routers just because they like don't do what the a new one would do. I'm just gonna wait for these ones to go kaput. Cause it's like about about every three to four years we need a new router. I've had mine for about six, seven. So. Yeah, I think you guys need a new router. Oh no, not a new router, sorry, the same internet. Oh, the same internet, nice. My, but it's our internet's just. Huh. It's just, you know, you're you're connecting to the Wi-Fi and you're, you're, uh, you're functioning. Yeah, so <laughs> if I wanna play, if I wanna play if I want to play Xbox, uh -huh. I can't have my phone on Wi-Fi. Really? It's that bad. It draws that hard. Dang, that's if, crazy. If, Wait, if you want your phone, you can't have your Xbox? Well, I, if I want my phone, I can have my Xbox. But if I'm like playing like an online game, I will lag so hard that it will crash my game mm -hmm. if I turn my phone on with my Wi-Fi. Yeah, but then again, you have an Xbox Series X. Or those like, is but that it's like... also, I have an Ethernet, so it's not playing wirelessly. So oh, it's still, it's yeah, still so it's still, oh wow, yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, but also, Somebody help me find like the other honeycomb. Oh, I had it pulled up and I shut it down. I thought we found it. Let's see. So uh, the one I got was uh, from... Denver, my brain is farting. I cannot remember where I picked that up. It was, uh, oh no, it was uh, over like a crate in the okay, ocean. What's this one called again? Treasure, <sighs> Treasure Trove Cove? Okay. Yeah, Treasure uh, Trove to Cove. The, to the left of the starting point, you'll discover a nipper, a giant hermit crab. Do you see the shock spring pad nearby? Stand on it and follow the wall to the left. 
right into the water. Just keep following the ball and make sure that the extra honeycomb. Beware, this is what triggers shark. Uh, Snackers, the shark. Oh, what, there's by, by, uh, that boss? I guess, yes. Like, okay, let me, let me go down. Giant hermit crab. See this shock spring pad nearby. Stand on it and follow the wall to the left, right into the water. Just keep following the wall and you will eventually arrive at the extra honeycomb. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I have not like collected every honeycomb. You're gonna have to get it in the water, I think. So let's see, hermit crab. Is it okay, looking up for the spring? Oh, there's a skull. Let me just get that. So I will gladly take that. Yep. Let's see, so there's a, let's see. Is it this? See the shock spring pad nearby? Stand on it and follow the wall to the left. Okay. There. Oh, I, okay. So you might as well just drop into it. I yeah. never even noticed that. And we got a shark. Ah, freaking shark taking a bite out of the... Uh... Fish are friends. Not food. Fish Bears and friends. birds are food. Bears and birds are food. <laughs> nice.